I'm Mr. Drew, and I'm one of the librarians here at the Tokyo American Club. And we're reading another one of our favorite stories with you. This one is called Dragon Was Terrible. So, that brings up another one of our special words here Terrible. Terrible. Do you know what terrible means? Let's find out if Dragon was terrible or not. This one we're reading with permission from Macmillan Publishers, and it's by Kelly DiPucchio. And the pictures are by Greg Pizzoli. Dragon was terrible. Hmm. Dragon was terrible. Naturally, dragons have a bit of terrible in them because they're dragons after all. But this dragon here, super terrible. He stomped on flowers. He played tricks on the guards. And he spit on cupcakes. Who does that? Dragon. That's who. And that's not all. He scribbled in books. He threw sand. And he took candy from baby unicorns. Honestly, that's terrible. The king had had enough. Enough, he said, and he posted this sign. Brave knights, whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift. It shall be a nice gift, and ye shall like it. His Royal Majesty the King. Oh, look, dragon was here. The dragon. Well, knights lined up to show off their dragon taming skills, and they all failed miserably. And Dragon just grew more terrible. He chased fuzzy yellow ducklings around the moat. He TP'd the castle. See, with toilet paper. And he burned every last royal marshmallow to a blackened crisp. Oh. The villagers had had enough. Enough, they said. And they posted this sign. Brave people, whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift from the king. It shall be a nice gift, and ye shall like it, we hope. His royal majesty, the king. And look, dragon was here again. What a terrible dragon. Ordinary blokes and lassies lined up to try their hand at taming the dragon. And they all failed. Embarrassingly so. And just when you thought it wasn't possible, Dragon grew even more terrible. He popped birthday balloons. He drew funny faces on the drawbridge. And he burped in church, loudly. Honestly, that's terrible and rude. Then, a boy wearing a feathered cap and a look of determination had had enough. Only he didn't say enough, like you thought he would. Instead, he sketched a story. The next day, Dragon followed a trail of marshmallows to a shady tree where the boy was reading. The boy spied the dragon out of the corner of his eye and began to read aloud in a booming voice. And then, the brave dragon swooped in to save the princess, he said. Dragon stopped in his tracks. But the terrible knight pulled out his wicked sword. Dragon pretended not to listen. The brave dragon roared, and the frady cat knight trembled in his boots. Dragon pretended to walk away. A crowd began to gather, and Dragon took cover in a tree, and the boy continued reading, page after page after page, until... Snap! Crash! Dragon landed on the ground with a thud. The crowd gasped, and the dragon roared! The clever boy didn't flinch. He reached out a hand to the dragon and said, Would you like to hear how the story ends? 
And just when you thought it wasn't possible, Dragon smiled. And he took a seat beneath the tree with the other children. Honestly, that's, that's adorable. The king cheered, the villagers cheered, the baby unicorn and fuzzy ducklings cheered the loudest of all. Yay! And at long last, the terrible dragon had been tamed. The end. Hey, wait, what about the reward? Uh, oh, oh yes, that, ah, uh, the gift was a new friend, a nice dragon, of course. The end. All right, that was the end of Dragon Was Terrible. Did you learn what the word terrible meant? It's kind of like bad or awful, but was Dragon really that terrible? I don't know, what do you think? Anyways, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time with another storybook. Take care, and have a good day. Bye-bye.